Dear colleagues, people become small during nucleus management in this case. Let us see what happened and how I managed the case. The main incision has been placed on the posterior aspect of the limbus. This is a side port on the left side of the main incision. And now an air bubble is being injected and then Tripan blue dye is injected beneath this air bubble to stain the anterior capsule of this cataractus lens. Here goes the dye. And now adrenaline is being used in this case to see if the pupil dilates to some extent. Now the dye is washed out. and I find that the adrenaline has worked to some extent. The pupil has dilated a bit. And now after injection of viscoelastic substance the pupil dilates to some more extent and this is good enough for doing an adequate sized capsular axis. Capsulorexis is being done. The capsule has been incised to the 26 gauze cystitome and now uh, utrita forceps is being used to hold the capsular flap. I go anticlockwise. In this case I am going very close to the margin of the pupil because the pupil is about 6 millimeter in size. So we have got a rexis of adequate size, say about 5.5 millimeter in diameter. And now hydro dissection is being done. Fluid wave is passed just underneath the anterior capsular rim. Must be very gentle as the cataractus lens lifts off. We must not inject any more. We just tap the nucleus and we can do some more hydrodissection at another place. Now the nucleus is mobilized and we find that the nucleus is rotating nicely. Viscoelastic substance is injected again and now the tip of the phaco handpiece is introduced into the anterior chamber. Since the pupil is not well dilated, in this case I have planned vertical chop. How to do vertical chop? Bury the tip into the substance of the nucleus, have a nice grave onto the nucleus. Be at the center and now use the chopper bring it close to the phaco tip and divide the nucleus. Rotate it 180 degree, hold the lower heminucleus and separate the two. Now each heminucleus is further divided into two parts and each part is emulsified and taken out. Though the people is small it is not floppy so I am not troubled by this size of people. People at this size at this time is about 4 millimeter. So this is quite ok for management of the nucleus. Fecal power used in this case is 65 percent. Flow rate is 45 ml per minute. Vacuum is 450 millimeter of mercury. This is the last portion of the nucleus. It is emulsified and removed. Antichamber is very stable and I could manage the case very comfortably. And 
And now, cortical cleanup is being done. We cannot see the cortex, but we do, we sweep the simco underneath the iris and the cortex is caught hold of and it is removed. We must develop some intuition for this stave. When we cannot see the cortex which is hidden behind the iris. If we develop some intuition, we can easily remove this cortex. Have I removed all the cortex? Let us check. I have asked for an instrument which looks like an Y. We can easily retract the pupillary margin with this instrument and check all around 360 degree if the cortex is nicely cleaned or not. Yes, the cortex has been nicely cleaned 360 degree. And now some more visco and in this case a hydrophobic acrylic single piece yellow intraocular lens is being implanted. Here goes the lens. The leading haptic goes into the capsula bag and the trailing haptic is also placed in the bag. Now to become sure whether it is in the bag or not we can inject some more viscoelastic substance and use the same instrument that looks like an Y to track the iris and check if the lens is in the bag or not. Yes, the lens is in the capsular bag. And now the surgery is done. We just have to clean the cortical matter. Sorry, we have to clean the viscoelastic substance. All the wounds must be checked. At this time, viscoelastic substance from behind the lens is being irrigated out. Yes, there should not be any viscoelastic substance in the capsular bag. After cleaning all the viscoelastic substance, the side port is hydrated and then a final lavage of the anterior chamber is done with balanced salt solution. Dear colleagues, please get this instrument that looks like an oil and you can check whether you have removed the cortex nicely or not, whether the lens is in the bag or not. Thank you very much for watching. Hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills. Please visit my hospital, Netrojoti Eye Hospital.